Hello everyone, welcome back. We're now going to have a look at how we start achieving the effect. We're going to use grease paints and alcohol colours to achieve the effects. This is because I want you to see how you can mix mediums to achieve what you're looking for. Now as you can see, as you can see, I'm stippling the colour on. I don't ever drag the colour, okay? Now I am at the moment just doing a base layer of where my effect's going to be. Now we're going to work in this area here, sort of from the neck down the shoulder this way, okay? Now, I particularly like trauma work because it's the art of realism and medical realism, which particularly excites me. I find using the Ben Nye and Meron products really good because although they were designed for, originally they were designed for theatre and high fashion, they've really transferred themselves well into the world of special effects. And I find it very versatile. So at the moment, we are just using that one, the light, the bright green, the bright red, to stipple the color on. Now, by stippling the color, you avoid getting buildups of color, but also you create different 3D layers on the skin of color, which allow you to create the effect you're looking for. Now very soon we'll start adding a few other colours. Um, one second. So as we work with these colours, So as we work with the colour, I want you to pay attention to how I am stippling the colour. Okay? That's very important. For those of you joining in, we're just doing a little bit of trauma work today. Working with Ben Nye and Meron colours as we create some out of kit effects mainly some injury, neck, shoulder, shoulder blade, after a car crash, car accident, whiplash. We are using the Ben Nye Bruce palette. That's the Ben Nye Bruce palette, supplied by Treasure House of Makeup. And as you can see, I'm just starting to stipple the colour. Now, if you're a beginner, always ensure that you're working from a reference image. Because otherwise, it's going to be a bit too bright. Okay, so we are carrying on working with colour. And it's about creating layers. Very important when you are working with Bruce work that you start layering the product. Now notice I'm not doing that. I'm stippling. Always very important to stipple. And as we stipple the colour, you start finding and you create the 3D effect. 
So what happens in a bruise, for everyone watching and listening to this video, is that the dermis, the layer that contains the capillaries, upon damage and capillaries exploding, you get spillage of blood. Now the bruise is the blood underneath in the middle layer of the skin. As the blood loses oxygen, it changes colour. It goes from haemoglobin to biliverdin to bilirubin, which is why you get the coloration. Now bruises are cyclical. They work on a 0 to 6 to 12 to 48 to 72 hours. Now not everyone bruises in the same way. Just because person A gets red, green, red, blue, green and yellow doesn't mean it's going to recreate it on person B. This is because no body is the same. Every human being is different and everyone, every person's skin reacts differently. Depending on what you have in your skin, what colour, what colour base you have will determine how much of the bruise it shows. Okay? So as you can see, the damage is beginning to show over there. This has been created by crashing into something. So car crash, impact here, all this area gets damaged. Now the big thing, big, big thing is keep layering, keep layering. Do not spread the color. Just keep layering the color. I can't stress this enough. So I started with a red base, light red, and then I kind of just build the colour up. I'll show you in a minute the products that I'm using for those of you who have just joined. So you can see what's been going on. So I am just layering the product around, making sure that I'm really working this area over here. And just you keep layering, keep using alcohol to move the product around. As I said, if you're not used to doing bruise work, please ensure that you are working from images, just so you understand the process of how these bruises are created. It's very important. Practitioners will look to you for them to create to for you to create realistic effects. And it's very important that that's what you achieve. So working from an image, if you have no experience, is imperative, okay? So we're just going to, as you can see, this is what we're doing. Now I am working using Ben Nye Bruce FX palette, it's the Ben Nye Bruce FX palette. And I'm also using the Meron Paradise palette and the brushes, uh, Delian brushes. So 
So here we go. As you can see, I'm really making this area become quite damaged. Yeah, making the area look quite deep, sort of impacted over here. I might help you see it a bit better. So for those of you that are on camera now, these demos are using Treasure Houses kits supplied by Treasure House containing Meron and Ben Nye. The brushes are by Delium. And I'm also using a bit of obviously IPA for my alcohol paints. Now, really keep layering those colors. Keep moving the color around. So just keep working with the color. Keep creating illusion of trauma. So I'm going to change angles. As I said before, keep using a bit of the yellow now and then, because the yellow will bring it down a bit, but also it's also part of the natural brew cycle, but it will also help you with blending the color down a bit. Sometimes we just need to change our coloration, as you can see. That's what it's looking like. Bruises caused by injury. So we keep layering the color. Now, this is gonna be the area that I've damaged the most. So we're just gonna add a lot more in there. Now bruises are funny things because they they don't all age the same speed. So just because this part is older, this area might be younger. Depends on the constitution of the skin, depends on the fatty layer, depends on the musculature, depends on the bone structure of the person. It also depends on the constitution of the person. What that person has in the skin, 
many factors. So you really have to be be aware of this when you're working on Bruce work because you're not going to get everything working the same way for you. Now these paints are fabulous because they're really rich in colour. So you can really do detail work. As you work around. So you just keep working that colour. Uh, let me quickly show you how we're looking. So as you can see, yeah, you can really see so we created this using Meron Paradise, but also Ben Nye Bruce palette. Okay, so I'm going to carry on building the colour. For those of you watching the video, this is what it's looking like at the moment. Okay. So we really keep building these colors up, okay? It's about just keep building. And really enjoy the layering. Really enjoy sort of applying these layers of colour. I personally really enjoy Bruce work because you can really take your time and really enjoy applying the various permutations of colour as you build the area. So, as I keep saying, we keep working on injury work over here. Let's have a, a quick little look at what we've been doing. You can really see. Okay. That's what we're looking at. So, we're going to take it up the yeah, a little bit. We're going to go up the neck. A little bit more. We're just going to go up here a bit more. 
to really help us build the effect. So we keep building this effect. We keep adding more layers and more layers and more layers as we go along. It's very important just keep building the layers because the more layers you build, the more you're gonna find to get the realistic look. I think we're pretty much there. So we're going to leave it there. Remember, we've been using Ben Nye Meron supplied by Treasure House of Makeup. Brushes by Delium. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day.